welcome back everyone to this recently started mock data solution series all right so recent uh, in the last video we have solved that fella land coin question and in this one we are going to attempt prime fibonacci okay this was the second question that was asked in mock data let's look at the problem description the problem description it's quite lengthy they are just the concept themselves are very simple the question itself is very simple but you know they have asked so many concept one on top of another that shouldn't get confused so what we are going to do is we won't be reading uh, this question completely we'll be solving it in part by part okay while matching them with the test cases the explanation uh, that we have been provided with okay so uh, given two numbers n1 and n2 find prime numbers between n1 and n2 okay i can do that using sieve of elastothenius and after that uh, you know just let's take a summary of the question now we have to make all the possible unique combinations the keyword here is unique great from this new list again find all the prime numbers okay so since i have to find this prime number again i think c of erastothenus it won't be as predicted i'll just make a function s prime that will return me all the value which are prime or not okay great find smallest and largest number i'll sort it take the first and last and consider the smallest and largest number as first and second number to generate fibonacci series okay we'll come to this part later fifth one we are provided with explanation and you know we'll just keep on matching so firstly let's just take this first part find prime numbers i'll just kept uh, keep on you know doing it in step so firstly i'll create my function it is it will be required later so i'll just create it now is prime n uh, now how do we check that that number is a prime or not if n equals to equals to 1 i'll return it false because one is neither prime nor prime it's not clear okay so i'll just return false and if by any chance if n is less than equal to three okay now uh since we are done with almost the base condition what i need to do is uh, okay so used to c plus plus all right uh i'll iterate like we usually do i'll just take a variable i2 and while i multiplied by i i can use sqrt but i just want to avoid it it's more efficient while i into i is less than n if by any chance n modulus i is equal to equal to zero i'll return false it's not a prime number and i'll increment i by one and by any chance if it iterates to the whole loop then we know that certainly it's not for it's not basically a prime number so i'll return to great now let's move on to the part we have been given two numbers n1 so i just type cast the input it's quite important and then i'll take diff another number int input i'll store it in n2 now i'll iterate from range of n1 to n2 while checking if the number is prime or not okay if i'll call my function if is prime which i created beforehand if is prime then i'll just name the list round one round one dot append that number i i'm using python because you know that a string manipulation is very easy in python and you know i find it efficient so i'm using python if you want you can use c also you can type cast them you can use a to i and all these functions in c plus in java there's also function for type casting okay i have created this round one list so since we are almost done with the step one i just want to you know test if it's working correctly or not okay uh, so i'll be testing it with the given inputs we are given input with 2 and 40 don't get confused by output okay so first prime list is this now let's print our prime list i'll run my code okay and false yeah obviously 
my inputs are 2 and 40 2 3 5 7 11 31 37 uh yeah almost it's same okay great now since we're done with this step let's move on to the second second step what does the second step say it's ask us to make all the possible unique combinations quite easy all right great how to make combinations i'll simply iterate through the round one uh, i'll cross match all the all the possible outcomes they are and you know just to test i'll just show you uh, since we, this is a prime list if you have to create all the combination it will be like 2 and 3 23 2 and 5 25 2 and 7 27 but you can't create 2 and 2 22 all right it should all be created once and these are all uh, possible you can look uh, with 2 and 11 you, you can create 211 so what i'm planning to do is i'll convert 2 into string and i'll convert 3 into string and then, then I'm, uh, i'll concatenate them and i'll append them to a new list uh, i'll name that list comp combination short form okay for j in round one if i is not equal to j why because uh, there uh, we can't create 22 if we have 2 and 2 all right if i is not equal to j then i'll append this is in comp com dot append so uh, i'll typecast them back to int first i'll typecast them into string then i'll concatenate both of them okay and with this we are done let's not forget that we are asked to make only unique combinations so what we are going to do is we'll be using state we'll typecast it to set and then we'll typecast it back to list you know set up this property that you can only have unique values there so it will help us making our work is easy all right so after that i'll just sort it let's just print it to see that if our code is working correctly or not okay let's run it now two and why do i type there again and again two and 40 23 25 27 32 35 37 uh, since i've sorted it it won't be in the same manner but let's just take the first and the last value in this question the last value is mm, wait a second sorry the largest value is 300 uh, 3719 okay what am i doing 3719 and we also have value 3723 and 3729 uh yeah because we haven't checked that whether they are prime or not okay so now let's check if they are prime or not okay so i'll again just do that same thing for i in uh, comp right for i in comp i'll just create another list and i'll name it round two you know let's just go with the flow and i'll again check that if it is prime then that number i if it is prime then i'll just append it okay great we are done with this i'll now print my round two and check it again like as usual all right so i'll compile my code two and forty yeah great the last value that we have is three seven one nine okay our code is working correctly now let's move on to that third step i believe from this new list again find all the prime numbers yeah we actually did it i forgot to read it out for you <clears throat> now let's move on to this step four find the smallest and largest since we have already sorted it out we only need to you know just take that first and last we don't need to sort it again since we have already sorted it it will be to us in a sorted manner okay uh, let's just name it first and last so the first will be round to zeroth index and the last will be round to minus one index okay great uh, now let's move on to this step consider smallest and largest number 
uh, we have found it out now we have to generate that fibonacci series till the count the number of primes in the second list so we also have to find this length of this round two so i'll just use the function length and i'll calculate my round to length because this is uh, in fibonacci series uh, i'll just revise it back for you if you want to find a number a n then it follows a pattern of this that it will be the sum of its predecessors it will be equal to a of n minus 1 and a of n minus 2 basically this is the whole formula of the series in fibonacci now uh, we usually are given a number n we have to find that number n basically what will be that number n in that series okay so now we are given that the length is that number n so i will just code for fibonacci series like i used to i'll create my you know and uh fib i'll create my array basically a list and there i'll have my first and last because this is where from uh where you know you have to start otherwise you usually start from zero and one okay so now i'll simply print that fibonacci i I'll later create that you know this function and i'll create print fibonacci and i'll pass length length of that okay now let's create a function fibonacci okay i have already passed the length and i have already created fibonacci array with it by which i know you know from where i have to start okay so i'll just create this number fibonacci okay what was the spelling again i forgot fibonacci and suppose i have been inputted with a number n okay if n is less than you know length of fib by any chance i'll just return fib of n minus one even though i'm using recursion i'll be using memoization okay else i'll create a temp variable and i'll store the value that is fib n minus 1 plus fib of n minus 2 and then append it in fib so why am i have to you know recurse have a recursive call here okay and then i'll add them in my array that i created fib append that temp value And I'll return this temp value. This will be my answer. Now uh, it's the high time. Let's check if our code runs successfully or not. Let's run our code. It's saying invalid syntax return fib n minus one. Damn your indentation. Great. So let's run our code two and forty name fibonacci is not defined here it's not you know it's speaking quite a hodgepodge i'll run my code again 2 and 40 6 8 8 3 9 2 9 5 if i'm not wrong that was not the answer we require okay smallest number is 23 largest number is 3719 you know i'll just check if all the values that i'm giving are they correct or not print first last and length for now let's keep this on hold okay i'll run my code again 2 and 40 23 3, 7, 9, 34 so 34 sigma, uh, the number it was 34 so i was correct there so where did i went wrong all right uh it's where i make a mistake it should be less than equal to okay now let's run our code <clears throat> so, oh i forgot to uncomment this since this is my answer this is not what i require let's run our code for sure two two and forty yeah our answer is has come it's one three one five eight zero zero six eight six six eight nine and i believe that was you know 
the answer of let me check yeah it's the exact same answer now i'll try to run my code again for this you know this second test cases that uh, that is 30 and 70 okay let's run it 30 and 70 20270412027041 yeah all right so this was the complete solution of prime fibonacci i hope you have understood it if you have any problem uh, please mention them in comments i'll try to solve them as soon as possible and this was prime fibonacci series solution thank you